it was so hard because early on with the show, you had to establish credibility. Nobody wanted to be the first one. They didn't know what the show was going to be. Everybody has an opinion, is entitled to it, uh, whether I'm deserving of it or not. But, you know, from the day I woke up in prison, realized the mistakes that I had made and the pain, and the pain that I had caused people, I committed to turning my life around. Still living in that neighborhood and having to go to the train station every day and pass those guys was a tough thing to do. Do not deny my faith. That's, that's an even bigger sin. You know, it's not popular in my uh, industry, but, you know, I cannot deny my faith. The role of coaster Mark Wahlberg is currently writing will shock you. After spilling the beans on Hollywood's dirty secrets, he finds himself right in the thick of some major turmoil. He has been grabbing attention and making headlines ever since he burst into the Hollywood scene. He has collaborated with top directors on high-profile blockbusters, solidifying his position as the go-to leading man. Pretty crazy what's going on. Uh, I don't really know all the details, so it would be unfair for me to really comment. He's aced them all, from amusing rom-coms to heart-pounding action movies and received awards left and right for his movie magic. Not to mention that this Boston-born celebrity is no stranger to stealing the show. I've always been completely open about my past. You know, we've probably had this conversation many times. I've been yeah. talking about it for over 25 years since I've been in the public eye. But suddenly, at the UFC 290 party in Vegas, he is discovered to be hanging out with Donald Trump. Jack White, a musician, expressed his displeasure on social media, essentially saying anybody who normalizes or treats this disgusting, fascist, racist, con man, disgusting piece of SHT Trump with any level of respect is also disgusting in my book. That's you, Joe Rogan. You Mel Gibson. You Mark Wahlberg. You Guy Fieri. Mark Wahlberg joins the growing list of celebrities who have left Los Angeles in recent years. Currently, rumors are swirling that Mark may have been looking for Hollywood protection by mixing with the former president. After a photo of them executing the handshake and talk dance went viral, Wahlberg's detractors rushed to defend him. The juicy stuff comes next. The tabloids are giddy with excitement. They blame Mark for being a little challenging to work with. This is when things start to get interesting. He seems to be the target of a lot of criticism now that he revealed the existence of Hollywood skeletons. Coincidence? I disagree. One instance is his encounter with Reese Witherspoon, who recently made a shocking revelation about her early career in the spotlight regarding a hot incident that she had with Mark. I didn't have control over it, Witherspoon said in a Harper's Bazaar cover interview. It wasn't explicit in the script that that's what was going to happen. So that was something that I think the director thought of on his own and then asked me on set if I would do it. And I said no. It wasn't a particularly great experience. Mark is accustomed to controversy. At one point, he was charged with harassing black children and using racial slurs toward them. He then went further and assaulted Vietnamese men, which got him into even more trouble. Despite all of this, he overcame the situation, served his time, and continued to be successful. So, the final word is this. Mark Wahlberg has always been one to speak his thoughts, even if it means opposing the powerful machine of Hollywood. So it's not shocking that Hollywood could be attempting to discredit him and permanently remove him from the game. Now, since Mark seems to be so threatened, he has even gone so far as to publicly profess his faith and ask God to shield him from Hollywood. Do not deny my faith. That's, that's an even bigger sin. You know, it's not popular in my uh, industry, but, you know, I cannot deny my faith. The Father Stu actor paused to consider the significance of religion in his life, particularly as a Catholic in the bizarre world of Hollywood. In his own words, faith is everything. It's afforded me so many things. He spilled these thoughts during the Today Show as reported by Fox News. He went on to say, God didn't come to save the saints. He came to save the sinners. We want to be better versions of ourselves and through focusing my faith, it's allowed me to do that. Mark didn't stop there. He kept it real saying, it's a balance. I don't want to jam it down anybody's throat, but I do not deny my faith. That's an even bigger sin. He is well aware that his fervent religious beliefs may not be the most popular in his profession, but he is not planning to conceal them. He respects the diversity of his friends, who come from all walks of life and different religious backgrounds. Mark attributed his adherence to discipline, which has helped him manage his job. To his faith. Once I started getting into movies and transitioned from music, I realized I needed a lot of discipline in my life. He revealed that his commitment to discipline helped him find chances and open doors. And whether it's through fasting, avoiding distractions, 
or devoting time to prayer. He's all about imparting that wisdom. He is all about assisting others in reaching their full potential. He even collaborated with the Hallow Prayer app as a guest narrator to talk about fasting for Lent. He claimed that people become better versions of themselves when they have the self-control to give something up for the season. Do you recall when he appeared in the classic adult film Boogie Nights? Yes, he has also given that some thought. In 2017, he humorously said, I just always hope that God is a movie fan, and also forgiving because I've made some poor choices in my past. He later clarified, I was just saying that I just hope he has a sense of humor because I maybe made some decisions that may not be okay with him. In 2023, Mark is following a new route. He seems to be picking initiatives that are actually worthwhile and will genuinely benefit people. Making significant content that has an impact is what he prioritizes, just with the Father Stu biography. Actually, Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg are collaborating on a new film project. And guess what? Gibson is back in command as the film's director after the critically acclaimed Hacksaw Ridge. Gibson is in charge of Flight Risk, a film that will likely garner attention at Cannes thanks to Davis Entertainment's support. The dynamic team of Icon Productions, Gibson and Bruce Davey, is on board to carry out this project. Let's now get into the intriguing facts. With a nerve-wracking assignment to convey a dangerous criminal for a high-stakes trial, Wahlberg takes center stage. And let me tell you, there's a lot of excitement building because of the relationship between Gibson and Wahlberg. The head of Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, Joe Drake, was unable to contain his joy, saying we love the undeniable electric pairing of Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg. Flight Risk will be one of the most suspense-filled must-see events of the year. We've already marked our calendars, so you can trust us. But hold on, let's go back to 2021 for a second. Gibson dropped a bombshell and hinted at a comeback to directing. Do you recall the Lethal Weapon series? That one, yes. He revealed the information during a London event, claiming franchise director Richard Donner informed him. Listen, kid, if I kick the bucket, you will do it. And what about that? Gibson stepping up to helm the fifth chapter now that's a triumphant return to Hollywood. However, Mel Gibson's trip back was a very difficult one. Mel Gibson's road into the spotlight has not been easy. His errors have been made clear for everyone to see. Do you still recall the leaked video of him arguing with his ex-wife? It presented a concerning aspect of him portraying a picture of dominance and hostility. Then came the well-reported incident involving the police that occurred while he was intoxicated. And later, when his offensive comments about the Jewish community were made public, Gibson confronted the penalties head-on and had it all over the media. Yet he still managed to maintain his position in the ever-evolving Hollywood scene. Jim Caviezel, another actor who looks to be in conflict with Hollywood over his views, seems to have focused on exposing claims that Hollywood exploits young people. Reports that Gibson was producing a documentary on the subject caused some uncertainty. The reality? Gibson intervened to aid with the publication of The Sound of Freedom by Jim Caviezel. Many people on the internet are beginning to respect Mel and Mark's steadfastness, because it almost seems as though they are both paying a price for their convictions. This individual clarified what everyone had been contemplating. You all do not pay attention at all. When you see D. Trump with any celebrity, you can guarantee they are looking for protection. Some of them made deals, which is why you see Mark Wahlberg, Kanye West, Kirstie Alley were all exposing Hollywood. Why? Capitulation. Another person highlighted how important it was that people stood up and supported the sound of freedom. It is time to stand up for what is right in this country. Sound of Freedom is a true story exposing the ugly world of slavery in the 21 century. Please support it by seeing it. One person wasn't having any of it though, and talked about how Mark seemed to just get away with everything. It's mental how a celeb can say something problematic one time and be cancelled for life, while other celebrities can commit violent hateful crimes against Pacey and still be hired to make family kids movies and make millions. T-L-D-R-F-U-C-K, you Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for more celeb videos. Don't forget to like and comment. Also share it with friends and family.